Configuring load balancing on the Citrix application switch is a simple three-step process. First, we add the backend server. Then we create a service group. This service group is going to bind to the backend server and the port numbers that that server is expecting to receive traffic on. Because I'm using an SAP server, I have one server at one IP address, but two different port numbers configured on that server. I'm going to configure a monitor to periodically go out and send HTTP GET requests to make sure that those servers are up and running. Finally, I will create a virtual server or virtual IP address for that server and its services. and I will bind it to that service group that we created and I will load balance between those two servers. The default load balancing method is least connection but I can change that to round robin and if I needed to do any type of persistence I would set that right here under persistence.